but many Americans are still relying on those benefits to help them stay afloat, especially with the end to the CDC's eviction moratorium looming. 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow explains why health concerns are growing as thousands of struggling renters in our area could soon lose the roof over their heads. I really have nowhere lined up to go. And with about a week before she has to leave her home in South St. Pete, she doesn't know what to do. I'm on a fixed income, so I struggle monthly to even pay my utilities. Davis says her landlord gave her just a few weeks before she has to move out, a situation she won't face alone. I think we've got a crisis on our hands. You know, I was looking at the docket earlier today and seeing just a staggering number of eviction cases that have already been filed, something beyond 500 just in June and July alone. Compare that to just about 250 cases in Pinellas from that same time period last year. Data shows eviction filings are up in Hillsborough as well. A year ago, the government put in, federal government put in this eviction ban based on the health considerations. They didn't want people thrown out on the street in the middle of a pandemic. But with the Delta variant surging as the ban is expiring. In many ways, the, the conditions are as bad as they were uh, when this started. But there is still help available. Our Florida is a state resource with $850 million for renters and struggling landlords to keep tenants in their homes. I won't say I'm between a rock and a hard place. I, I just am in a hard place. I'm not between anything. Emerald mentioned that state funding. There is also federal funding if you're struggling. Let's take a deeper dive on how that's being distributed here in the state of Florida. The federal government gave each state access to funding based on population to help assist people at, at risk of losing their homes. Counties in Florida received more than $871 million to help. Hillsborough County got more than 32 million of that and Pinellas more than 21 million. St. Pete and Tampa got some city funding too. All of that money goes to local assistance programs to help people facing eviction. And many of those programs still have money for you to take advantage of if you are struggling.